Hey there, this is Jacob from RC. Here we're building domain adapted language modeling systems. So at RC, we're all about contextualized language models, that is taking your language model and making it understand the unique nuance and contextualization of the data that you want it to serve. So if you're deploying a language model that you don't want to be serving that's based on general data from the web, then this is a good technique that you might want to check out. So here we've been working on the DOM project. The DOM project is unifying the generator and the retriever in an end-to-end -end system. So the end-to-end -end system sends the backpack propagation system all the way from the generator during the fine tuning to the retrieval database, and it's rebalancing the retrieval database as it's training in a fashion that means that when you're serving the generator, you know that you're going to have the vector database to rely upon, so you might as well train that way as well. And so that's what we've done here. And at RC, we've also been working on a platform that serves, serves this uh, this repo in an open core fashion where you can also scale this uh, to infinity so you can train uh, both as many DOMs as you want and you can serve those inferences and those vector lookups all in a synchronous fashion. And so we'll go ahead and jump into the platform here and we'll go ahead and ask a couple uh, questions. So this model is a general patent model and um, we'll go ahead and ask it a question about what uh, what uh, sort of patents have been written about in neural network activation. So here you can see I'm querying it. I'm asking it what are some approaches people have taken to neural network activation. And you can see here that it's getting some context and it's indexed the, the data pretty well across the patent system, but it's, it's not necessarily responding exactly about neural network activation functions themselves. But here in the, uh, in, in the DALM patent model, we'll go and ask it the same question and we'll see what context it gives it back. So this model was trained, you know, with the retriever in the context of all the general patents while we were also training the generator. And you can see here that it's a little bit more contextualized and it's actually giving me, uh, you know, uh, docs that are about uh, neural network activation themselves. And you can also see here that it's, it's got quite a bit more confidence in its response as well because it's fit uh, to the vector database already that we're going to serve at production time. And so here you can see it's talking about some whitened neural network activation uh, functions, or, or this is what the, the abstract that it's drawing from is, is talking about. And you can see that that's actually uh, doing qu uh, quite a get, bit better when we're answering questions from this contextualized uh, DAL model. Um, so in the platform here, you can see in order to create one of these, we can always create a new DOM here. And we'll go ahead and create new DOM. And we'll, we'll choose a generator. So here you could start from a general generator, or you could start from Llama, or you could start from one of the ones that we pre-trained, which has already been pre-trained to understand tokens within patents or PubMed or SEC, for example. And you go ahead and create this model. And then down here, you hook that up to both the instruction set and the context that you want to train your DALM into. And then we can go ahead and kick off training here. So I'll go ahead and choose this one. And I'll choose the patent abstracts and then I'll start training. So when you start training, that sends us into our backend and we'll do a multi-GPU orchestrated training system for you so you can train your DOM there. And uh, of course, that will also serve your vector database along with it, with the generator that's also generating next to it, all in one orchestrated system. Uh, so you don't have to worry about necessarily serving the different uh, components of this system. So that's uh, kind of all for today. Of course, there's more details here in the REST API and the client docs if you want to see how you can uh, train DOMs using our APIs. And thanks for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video.